what's that process been like for you? What's your difference? Yeah, so we're we're just trying out a few different things. You know, what's best to communicate with the guys, whether it's pre-snap or or you know a lot of offenses now are communicating before the 15 second uh, hit on the play clock deal. So sometimes offense checks, it's communication deal, pre-snap, just post-snap because it'll reset. Just talk to the guys about what's going on and, and what we want to do. How good is it to have someone like John Bullock, I would assume my word of God sometimes, uh, and, and just his experience and what he can bring to that? It's, it's been really good. I think John, I think I mentioned it after the spring, he's really become a more confident football player. Obviously, he's an older guy. He's been here for a long time. He knows the expectations of the defense. He knows the expectations of Coach White, Coach Rule. So just having an older veteran guy out there really helps, you know, obviously keep everything together. Hey, what has uh, Mrs. Shavers shown, I think, Coach Rule, who said, you know, he could not Richard potentially as a true freshman? Yeah, I mean, he's explosive. So uh, he's a physical player. He plays hard. He's an explosive player. Um, he's still learning, right? He's still young. So there's a lot for him to learn, whether it's, the schematics of the game or the situations that we're playing uh, every day. So there's still a lot to learn, but uh, he loves the game of football and he's an explosive player. So we'll see what happens. What's, uh, what's Prince Will's skill set that he's played D-line now? He's kind of a fast rushing linebacker. What's his skill set? What's the next step for him in his sophomore year? Yeah, obviously he's, he's super talented. Um, elite size for, for a player. He can move well in space. He can play on the ball. He can play off the ball. He can pass rush. He can cover. I mean, ideally, that's a that's the type of guy that you want. Um, again, he's still a young player, too. So every day we're pushing him to try to be the best player he could be. How about Maverick Noonan? Um, how, how has he come back? I thought it was a pretty severe injury. He suffers yeah. Injury. Uh, he's done a nice job. I mean, he's he's a tough, blue-collar type guy. He's a He's a husker. So... Uh, he's kind of working his way back into things. It's been a while since he played. So not only getting his leg back to normal, but also the game of football, the speed at which it happens. Um, but he's been doing a nice job so far. Is, is he a jack then? Yep, he's playing jack. What's the next step for, for Javen or the challenge you have for him after you know his first year in Tony White's defense and like, where he can take it now? Yeah, I think I think there's really every part of Javen's game that, that I've been on him about. Um, he obviously never played linebacker before until last year. And then previous to that, he's been through so many injuries in his career and a lot of adversity. So just playing the game, understand how to play the linebacker position, the physical part of it, playing in the box, reading my keys. Obviously, the cover thing for him is kind of natural because uh, he's played DB most of his life. But um, just read and react and, and playing the game at a really high level um, at the linebacker position is just an everyday process for him, along with the rest of the guys. Yeah, Steph, Steph's a natural football player. He has really good football instincts. He understands space. He has a really good feel for the ball. Um, his biggest challenge has been adjusting to the way we do things here from literally everything, how we practice, the number of reps we have, how we expect the guys to run to the football, how hard we play, how physical we play in practice. So he's, he's getting better each week, and I'm proud of him for that. You were up a year ago with the Jacks in your room? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit more specific. Um, you know, the Jacks do a lot of different things within the system. And then, you know, the other guys were doing something a little bit different than those guys. So it allows us to be really specific about the training and uh, allow them to, to be with Jack one-on-one -on -one and, and deal with both sides of things. Hey, Coach, I know Vince Genitone is sort of a new guy. What, are, what have your initial reactions been with him? He's another guy who's a really explosive football player. Um, he hasn't played much defense in his career, a lot of special teams so far, but he, he's, he was in a system similar to ours. Um, so there's still things within the system that he needs to learn. Uh, but again, he's coming to a new place, figuring out how I do things, everything that we do. Uh, but he's, he's done a nice job as well. Um, so I'm looking forward as we continue to camp, you know, see how things go. It's hard for a true freshman to play. How quickly did you realize that Shapers had what it took that he could maybe help right away? I think you look at the traits that he has. Obviously, he's like I mentioned, he's really explosive. So when you when you have that, you got speed, explosiveness. He's powerful. He's quick. When you have those traits, obviously you got to add the the actual football part to it too. And so 
I think that's where there's still a lot of growth. Um, and so I think when you see those things and he loves the game of football, you're like, we could find a place for this guy when it's right. Coach, Tony White talked about getting like everyone in the room ready. You know, that second group of DBs, a lot of people out there. Just in your room, how are you getting the entire linebacker group kind of ready to potentially play this ball? I think it goes into the planning of it. Um, obviously, Coach Rule every week is like, hey, this is what we're doing for practice each day. And we talk about the number of guys, the number of groups, how we're going to structure things. So on that part of things, it allows us to, to figure out who we want to put in where in, in certain periods. And then the other part for me is just like kind of rotate guys in different groups. You know, we do black, red, and white, and we switch guys around all the time and try to continue to develop each guy. And the meetings, everyone's getting coached. I mean, I don't, I don't care if you're in the play or not. I'm going to call on you and make sure that you know what's going on. Uh, even though you may not be on the tape on that rep. So individual is really important, how we organize practice, everyone going to different groups and coaching everybody within the room because you never know what could happen. Bob, Tony mentioned the tackling in the scrimmage maybe wasn't what you wanted. Well, how would you assess it, particularly with North group? Yeah, I, I agree 100%. I think a lot of times through camp, you know, everything we do is thud, right? So now when you go into a live situation, now you're adjusting the way that you do things a little bit, but how we teach, how we thud should translate into, into going live. It's just some of those angle tackles where we normally don't tackle people. We started tackling people and you see guys do things a little bit different when the lights come on. So again, it goes back to the training and putting them in those situations so that we allow them to execute when the time comes. Have you seen Jaden and John kind of step up in that leadership role now with you know, Luke and Nick out here? Yeah, it, it's been really cool to see. Um, both of those guys, older players, but put their arms around the younger guys in the room. Um, they do everything with them from watch tape to pre-practice stuff to in the weight room. They're always together. So they're, they're a really tight group of guys. Um, it's not like, hey, I'm a senior. I'm not going to worry about these guys. They are, they are constantly with, you, with each other and talking about the game. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, Coach Butler's awesome. Uh, he does a great job. I think I think with his experience, um, just the things that he's done over his career, and and to have him here now, we're thankful to have him. It's great for me. I'm continuing to learn every day as well. Um, so I'm really I'm really excited to have him here. Thanks, Rob. Thank you, guys. Thanks.